back to DBR. I definitely hope you enjoyed that cold start. I've never, it's the first cold start we've really had in this truck because when we brought it in it was barely even winter yet and that's pretty crazy. Uh, well it was sitting, it was sitting for three days but did not think it would be that good of a good of a cold start as you guys would like to call it because a lot of people I guess find it entertaining when these trucks don't start but it's not entertaining for me. Anyway, anyways, um, that was pretty cool. I didn't think this truck would do that, but it's pretty cool. The lope. I thought I had like a lope tune on it for a sec or something. Uh, but it was also partially my fault. I didn't. I didn't put any. Uh, um, I didn't hit the gas pedal at all. It was just basically a regular. I just started it regularly, but I guess from now on, if I know it is below freezing at all here, I put a little bit on the gas pedal when I start it. Uh, the oil temps on my edge were saying it was like below 32, so the truck was pretty cold. Which, I didn't think it was that cold, but whatever. Anyways, today's video is basically to show you guys everything that we have done to the truck while I was in the garage over the last 3-4 months. And just a comparison of the very first video I launched on this, which has been when we bought it. So I'm going to go over everything in this video that we did. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, so let's get right into it. So... Here's the truck, um, yeah, that's the, that, that's it, if you guys have been watching this channel for, since I bought it, you guys are probably like, oh my god, thing looks completely different, but I'm gonna start with, uh, what we actually brought this truck to the garage to work on over the winter, uh, I'm gonna start with that, because we brought it in for one reason, and it wasn't for wheels and tires like this big or headlights or taillights or tow mirrors or any of that it was to fix the rust i don't really have any before pictures but if you watch the old video you'll definitely be able to see this all used to be the cab corner was eaten up to about this line here doors eaten up to about here um rockers were gone inner rockers were gone everything was gone with rust so what we did here New cab corner is welded in. My welder at DBR did this. Came out great in my opinion. Uh, we got a whole brand, this is a whole new rust free door that we got. So, no rust there. The inner doors, I'll show you this. This used to be all rusted out. Got new inner door panels. I mean, everything's been gone through that was rusted. Um, let's show you this here absolutely no rust this used to this used to not even be, be here it was gone um this used to be all sorts of rusted these were all right but were replaced anyways um the, when they sent us the new panel for this there was like a hole here so that was patched up um but yeah you see the inner here absolutely no rust now we'll get we'll get under it show you just to prove to you guys there's no more rust on this thing. Hold on. Oh, that that's good. You see that there? Absolutely no rust. This is a this was a brand new uh, inner rocker panel that we got, and it's welded in. Yeah, it's all undercoat on it now, so you can't really tell. There's no rust. These are new supports that we put in, welded in. Well, the welder the welder did this. Put these new supports in. Um, I am gonna undercoat this whole entire, <laughs> whole entire cab, uh, eventually. But 
perfect. You see, we go back here. Back here is perfect, no holes. Here's under that cab core. Oh, the, the lighting is all crazy. Hold on. Let me get out of here. Yeah, that cab corner here. Brand new. I mean, I got the we got the entire 12 piece kit off of Craigslist that included. Jeez, let me try to remember. Cab it was cab corners, inner rockers, outer rockers, inner door jam, um, inner cab corners. I said outer rockers. It was a lot of different pieces. This extension piece, this here. But for both sides, and it was a great price for both of them. I mean, I mean, there is no more rust on any of these panels on this truck. Like, we did every, including this bottom door. Anything that had rust on it was redone. So let's close this up here. This is the original, this is actually, the, we have the original front doors on it. We just fixed them up, as I said before. Next. When we brought it into the garage, I definitely did not think we would be going into the bed. The bed, in my opinion, was like, it was rusty, obviously. But it wasn't to the point where the whole entire thing was just gone. But I got convinced after I saw the finishing pro product on how that turned out to just go all out, do everything. So we got brand new wheel arches for both sides off of uh, Raybuck. They're a good uh, store if you want to get these replacement parts online um and my welder actually welded these right in so again no rust in here we also got what was it we had something else along the way um it was this panel oh the lighting here we go this panel right here that you're looking at that's also brand new that was rusted out before welded right in no rust See right there, absolutely no rust. Um, let me try to get a shot in here. You can't see it. But the, and there's absolutely no rust on the bed, put it that way. Another issue that if you watch the original video, here on both sides, there was a huge hole. Um, uh, it was under this too. Due to rust, that was all patched up. We got these uh, what, well, what's supposed to be with the truck? I wasn't with them. There are these, what do you even call them? Splash guards? We got brand new ones. Well, not brand new ones, but on each side, all pinned in. Those are a must. If your truck does not have these, get them immediately if you live up north, because your truck, that's, in my opinion, that's a necessity with these, uh, up, these trucks up north. Whole entire frame where the bed was off, this bed was completely taken off, by the way, was undercoated. Uh, yeah, all of it. The axle was painted. The springs were painted. Um, so let's go to the other side here. Just, uh, I just want to make sure you guys realize the work that was put into this truck. And it's not focused. Again, on this side, everything that was done on this side was done on the other side. This is the driver's side. All redone here. Absolutely no rust on the bed. Everything's undercoated. As I said before, we've got that new panel in under here there is no rust you find rust on this body let me know so now we'll get on to the mods uh well more of the cosmetic mods and engine uh again this is all what i'm telling you what was done during the winter not before it so here we go we did the 05 harley davidson edition conversion lights um Again, came out great. What we had to do, there's a whole video we made on this of how to fit these. Go onto the channel and watch that. I made an entire video how to fit 05 lights on a 9903 truck. Or 9904 truck, actually. So, watch that if you're wondering how to do that. It was actually a little more involved than we thought, but easy enough. So, we made a video on how to do it. These are all painted up, they're a little bit rusty. Um, next, before we get to the biggest part that you guys are probably wondering, um, got these 2013 tow mirrors, all great prices on these, just look on eBay for all these things, they're great. 
um, with the tinted light here We're still yet to wire this when we do I'll make a video on it because it's pretty pretty hard from what I've heard move on to the back here now new tail lights these have the LED little uh what do you call it? strobe halo I don't even I don't even know but we've got those in here they look came out great I didn't go for, if you're wondering why I didn't go for the tinted ones I think they look a little bit ricey in my opinion and I was definitely was not going for that look that's why I got those now up here I don't really want to get up on the bed but that's the new third brake light we got came out great it's slightly tinted but it's just that clear look it looks great um again it has that led hold on let me zoom in again that middle right there is a led when you hit the brakes definitely recommend all these lights they came out great right here's the pencil hitch we had sitting around the garage for it it was just repainted over nice that shiny nice black new hardware up top here so yeah it's a functional tr tr pulling truck you know if you decide to pull with it now for the biggest part that all of you guys are probably wondering here move on to the front stop walking around so I can get you a good shot of it we got 20 by 14 XD bucks on 36 by 15 and a half Mickey Thompson MTZs actually they're the uh, Baja MTZs to be exact and these wheels and tires are crazy 100% record if you have the money to get these brand I got these used for a great price but <laughs> if you have the money to get these these uh, just tires alone these are great tires um, the Mickey Thompson's 15 and a half if you guys want to be out of the ordinary and not like every single lifted truck on the road go for these 15 and a half wide Mickey Thompson's they're crazy and especially on 14 wides they look insanely good I mean on 12 wides they look pretty good as well but the way they fit with these this the boxy look they have on the 14 wide is insane I've also got I was watching a video on this this power ply technology it's this I don't know it's different it's in the sidewall they're built great but not from what I was watching on the video and with this we actually had to do a little bit of trimming oh geez I forgot something good thing I was bringing this up We've got a leveling kit installed there from Rough Country. You can see the little, the little stack there. So that's installed in. Anyways, so this is only sitting on a leveling kit, as you may see. Uh, and I've got 36 by 15 and a half. So you're wondering, how did you? How can you even turn? Well, to answer that question, when we put them on, we we couldn't turn them at all. My welder here. This isn't. You know touched up or anything where it's gonna go through body work like a good professional body work someday and this is all gonna get bonded up this is gonna be all real paint one day but anyways he cut this this used to the line used to go like about right there I'd say he cut a piece out of here cut cut this and basically moved it back you kind of see it see where this is welded back in it was pushed back and yet it still pretty much goes along with this this line here it looks great I could make a whole entire whole entire video when he's here on how to do that if you're wondering so please comment if you want to know how to do that type of uh, Sema beaver as some people like to call it um, the front here oh by the way all plastic still there we didn't cut any of that inner plastic while doing this just want to mention that front bumper was cut pretty significant pretty significantly that's the original line here and I believe it used to go kind of like that and now we just cut that that's an easy one you know you just keep trimming until it's good kind of like a guess and check thing but that was pretty the front bumper was a lot easier obviously than welding and cutting what we did there we wanted to make it look right for the first time I know DBR we're not really known for that Lastly, well, I think lastly, unless I think of something, we put new shocks in. You can see the, they're black right there. Not Bill Steens or anything, but in my opinion, guys, you can tell me if I'm wrong because I've seen a lot of people on YouTube. 
1999 truck with leaf spring suspension. You really think Bilstein's are going to make that much of a difference? I don't know. My opinion on it. But, yeah guys, that's kind of the finishing product on this truck. It's It came out insane. Uh, well, I know this, and I know this wasn't included while we were in the garage at, uh, during the winter, but there's a 5-inch turbo back on it. Uh, from MBRP and there is a edge, an edge programming system inside. Just thought I'd mention that since I'm going over the whole truck. But the truck came out absolutely insane. Uh, I love how it came out. Let me know your opinion on how it came out. Um, and if you have any questions on any of the things I stated below. But before you ask your questions, please watch all the rust repair videos that we made on this. Um, this is kind of the conclusion to the rust repair series. Um, this is what, which is which is why I'm making this video. So please leave a like um, if you enjoy of how it came out. I never would have never thought I would ever leave that garage. To be honest with you, if you watch some of the older videos, the rocker just seeing the truck without rockers and inner rockers was pretty pretty sad to see. Um, this is and also one drive with 14 wides. If you're wondering, 15 half wide tires. This truck was just cleaned. <laughs> yep. See all the dirt, all the dirt, and the tow mirrors. Just a quick spin. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you like the new wheels and tires. Um, leave a, please leave a like if you enjoyed of how this video uh, or how the truck came out uh, over the winter. And uh, that, that's that's about it. Um, also, if you want to see how we did the, that trimming in the front, please let me know. We'll make a whole video on it. So I think a lot of people should know how to do that. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's an intense type of trimming process. But if you want to put big tires on a leveling kit and not spend $2,000 on a lift kit, then you probably want to see that video. But please leave a like. I will we'll be making a ton of more videos on this truck of mods I will be getting. It's nowhere near done. Next, we're probably going to be getting into the engine, injectors, turbo, uh, inter intercooler pipes I've been looking at. Uh, cold air intake all it's gonna be it's all gonna be done to this truck um, Also Ranger videos are coming back very soon. We've got something uh pretty cool you guys will like So that's gonna be going back into the shop soon and We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching like comment subscribe um, See you in the next 7.3 or Ranger video